Hello and welcome to another update video about DOT. On the DOT chart we see a bit of a rally today, but it's only a rally in three waves so far from the 13th of April low. So we need to take a look at what that could mean. For now we still remain caught in this descending broadening wedge pattern, which yeah indicates that we might still be within a correction even though we've seen a bit of a rally there. So we're going to talk about these um, options and what could be unfolding here right now. Um, bigger picture, obviously a possible five wave move to the upside into the March highs, which is always good because it indicates overall upside trend continuation as soon as the correction is finished. And it should finish in this yellow support zone before breaking below $4.60. It is the support area between 750 and 460 and we are already in the middle of the support area but no strong signals that the correction is over other than um, another you know one one good day now at which we currently see a few green candles and however this is not enough to indicate that we have bottomed idea is that this wave 2 pullback is probably still unfolding and I'm going to zoom in in a minute. Please be aware that below $4.60 the overall bullish thesis will get challenged and below $4.60 the only other key level that I've got left is the $3.55 level. It's the red line and this is the key invalidation point below which there isn't really anything clearly bullish left. Okay, so that would be the invalidation when I will have to give up on this one two setup. Until then, it's possible that we call this the a wave two pullback, which should then lead to a third wave rally. And the third wave should reach $23.26 at least, possibly higher, then we should still get a four five pattern. Looking at the one hour time frame, this is what a lot of you are interested in. My thesis is that wave two hasn't bottomed yet. We just don't have that clear bottoming structure. The idea is that the decline is unfolding as an A, B, C structure. And in this A, B, C structure, we, one second. Um, so yeah, we A, B, C and the C wave is unfolding and we completed wave one, wave two, wave three. We thought about maybe this might have been wave four, but then it didn't make another low. So the idea is now that wave four is just simply extending in a wider ABC flat structure in which we had three waves in wave A, three waves in wave B, and the C wave could be an impulse. And then we have a trend line here. If the price reacts, this could be the start of wave five. If we go way above it, it would still not be clearly bullish until I see a five wave move up, which would be wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. So I would need to see that to really confirm that we've bottomed here. This remains an alternative for now. But because of the absence of a clear lower low here, I don't have a clear bottoming structure. It could also be, I mean, if this goes way higher, okay, then at some point it won't be a wave four anymore, but it could turn into a B wave. What we're dealing with then is probably a WXY structure. So something like WX and then Y or something, you know, and this would be um, A, B, C, or it could even be a WX, Y, X, Z structure. There are many corrective options here that we could um, use the exact labeling of the corrective structure isn't so important. It's more, what is really important is to be able to recognize what indicates a five wave increase. I mean, this here is an ABC. So it could be an A wave. The move down is an ABC. So it could be a B wave. And this here seems like an impulse. So ABC, that's how you know it would make sense. Again, if the only option that we've bottomed is a leading diagonal like this. But that needs proving because it cannot be a high probability pattern. These diagonals never are. And I just need five waves, don't have them at the moment, can only see three and the third isn't even finished. If this really is a third wave in yellow, it should reach minimally the 1.38 extension at $8.80. That would be the minimum. But that would not be enough. We also then need a four and a five and wave five needs to reach $9.40 at the very least. I can leave that on the chart. 
So that's sort of what we could track, but it's only an alternative. I should mark that as out. It, it is a plausible scenario, but it cannot be the, it, you know, we cannot just assume we've bottomed. Um, and this, this scenario in yellow is only valid as long as the Tuesday low is holding at around six dollars and three. That's my update about Dot. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.